this is real life. Some fat ass bitch walked up to me after she went into the Dollar Tree store to try to give me two dollars. Because there were other people here doing that request, I was not a part of that. That's not how I make my living. I encouraged her to give her two dollars to the couple that was laying down and asleep, allegedly, which they weren't, they were faking it, on the other side of the Dollar Tree. They are there every day looking for money, looking for food, and they've been doing it for a long time. And they're allowed, because those couples who work in that store are also bicultural like them. One white girl, one black man, and that's how the most of the store is staffed. So I get it. They allow them because they're a part of their cultural diversity program. But here's the deal. When I said that, she said to me, this fat girl said to me, no, they are on drugs. They are knocked out cold because of their addiction to drugs. And I used to be one of those, and I don't want to do that. And I said, okay, well, there's a gentleman right here that's supporting a basketball team. Why don't you give him your $2? And she did that. But then a little bit later, she went out to her car. She drove around, she honked at him to come over, and then she schooled him in something. And I wondered, did she ask for her $2 back? Did she piss all over me? Did she piss all over them? Who the hell knows what the fuck she thought she was doing? But here's what we know about anyone who's overweight like that. You're not caring about your body. You don't care about God. And openly, you're lying to yourself about how good you look. And I realize it's fucking hot outside. But most people don't want to see all that. No offense, that's the truth from a man who knows about that. But it's true. There are players out there who'll do you just fine. But I'm not one of them. So do not play like you're mine. I have three women that I have interest in. Two of them I've known for ten years. So don't even fucking try to play like you're mine. And I have one that's amazing to me, fascinating to me, influential in every way, with a lot of potential. But she's more interested in me for business. So why don't you just go off and play your way? You can be your retail fucking employee your whole rest of your whole fucking life for all I care. But don't you fucking play like I don't know you've been getting in my bags and stealing my fucking markers I just bought yesterday, you motherfucking piece of shit. Go buy your own fucking toys. Otherwise, you're just a little shit who thieves like a little boy who doesn't know where his toys are. You got your own fucking toys, and if you don't, let your mommy buy them for you. Not me, you pissant little boy, Michael.